It's numerologist Glennis Pants on Monday the 9th. I normally don't do it Monday, but I just feel like this month of May deserves a little bit of explanation to give you a heads up on how to handle it. As a matter of fact, you can put in the comments how you're doing with it so far because it's pretty nuts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm looking at something. I'm looking at various questions coming through, but that's not what I'm going to do at first. I'm going to talk about this month of May and what's going on. Yes, we're dealing with the month of May, which is five energy. And the world number 2022 is six. Now, there's another form of numerology where people will combine those two and say that's the personal month you're in. That's the personal month, or excuse me, the month that we're dealing with in energy. I don't agree with that. Now, even that phone ringing right now when the show starts is a perfect example of five energy. It's just chaotic. It's a little crazy. It doesn't really make sense. You know, you'll see that out there, right? No matter what it may be. And and since I don't have my husband here to say, hey, Charlie, can you turn off that phone? It's not going to happen, right? Okay, so let me explain what this means. When you make plans this month, and plus people are talking about Mercury retrograde, which we're going to be dealing with this month as well, don't leave things to chance, right? Write down what you plan on doing. Really think it through. And even your friendships might surprise you. I certainly have had, I had a massive surprise in one of my friendships that I've had for over 25 years, someone I adore. And it was just such a bizarre misunderstanding. And I still am wrapping my brain around it because trust me when I tell you, it made no sense except to say I had entered that wonderful month of May. Now, let me tell you something. When it comes to conversation, be real careful what you say right? Think about it. it. You might even put it off. Honestly, get out of this month before you really talk about it because a lot of people will be outspoken at the beginning of the month of May and then they regret it. You know, by the month's end, they're like, gosh, I wish I didn't say that. So that is a caution I want you to pay attention to. And depending on what cycle you're in, you might be in a cycle that's crazy. Uh, that's already been made your year a little tougher than you wish it to be. I personally am still banking on the wonderful energy of 2022 because I know those three twos ultimately, no matter what it looks like now, because it's looking pretty nuts out there, whether it's the Ukraine invasion, whether it's inflation, whatever it may be, I don't see it at any like that. I see us realizing, look, if we don't work together, we're all toast. It's not one side or the other. And if you think we are not being manipulated against each other, oh, please pay close attention. I mean, you know, here I am, Glennis began speaking to you honestly, talking to you directly, no matter where you come from, what your position is in life, because I care about people, right? I want you to be happy, but that's not what everyone wants. Some people love to get you angry. They want you to be in a state of anger so that you want to do something and be vicious about it. Can I assure you that that never works? That when we get angry, it truly is like coal in your hand. You're burning yourself. You think you're hurting someone else, but you're not. So I'm suggesting if, when you feel angry, just step away, get away from whoever it is. And by the way, if it's family or friendships, but they provoke you over and over again, you don't have to hang out with them all the time. I promise you, you don't. And I know some of you feel, yeah, but I'm trapped. It's my daughter. It's my son. No, you still can have boundaries and say, you know what? You are not loving towards me. Like I love you and wish you all good things, but you are abusive towards me. So I can't do this. I need to take care of myself. I really cannot emphasize that enough. Surround yourself with loving people. And if you don't have friends, you know, maybe you, you've come up short. Maybe you moved to another area and you haven't made friends. Then put on music that brings you to a happier place. Just play something right here on YouTube. Pick something that makes you laugh, makes you dance, makes you feel silly. Watch a movie that is funny. I really think humor is the best thing you can do. Because sometimes when we go to romance, especially if we're single, you might end up feeling even more depressed going, I, I don't have anybody. You know, like no one loves me, which is not true, by the way, because if you really affirm love, you can manifest it. I know that for a fact, not just from my own experience of being with Charlie forever now, like married 18 years, got together 20 years ago. I know of what I speak, 
But I also know I've had people who were single forever, like moms who raise their kids by themselves. And I help them, you know, affirm, start affirming healthy love. And they, they made it happen. So I know it's possible. Don't want you giving up. But right now, if you're feeling depressed, go for the humor, go for the light stuff. It'll make a huge difference. And if you're being really self-critical, stop doing it. You don't want to do that because when we become too critical, we can internalize. Next thing you know, you end up sick. You don't want to be sick. So in this cycle of five, what can you do to feel better? I suggest do things that make you feel good. You know, maybe, I don't know, go to the chiropractor, get an adjustment, maybe get a massage or just have, you know, sit in one of those chairs that give you a massage to feel better. Take one of those baths with uh, salts, right? Is it, what's that salt called? I always want to say Himalayan salt. That might be one type, but either way, look into it. Colette Baron reed is great about it. But what it does is help get the toxins out of your body, release the poison. You don't want to keep this on you. No, you do not. All right. So that'll make a difference. And then I want to talk about the horse race. I wonder how many of you caught the race, Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby and people are freaking out saying, oh my gosh, this horse, the odds were 80 to one. Well, what was funny about that horse, of course, when this happened, I did not look at the horse race. Sometimes I'm called to look at the race and I do this whole mathematical thing. I look at the numbers. I look at the birth date of the jockey, the birth date of the horse. I look at their names. I break it down. I do all that. But this time, obviously, after seeing it, and especially that horse, did you see how fast that horse moved? I mean, that was nuts. What it did was it was way in the back and then suddenly it just raced in front of everybody and won. So I looked at the numbers. What numbers do I look for when it comes to movement and competitiveness? One, five, seven. Those are the movement numbers. This horse was born on a seven day. Horse is a five life path, which I thought was funny, right? Because it was the month of five and the five life path had its little victory. But also the jockey, when I broke down the jockey's birthday, it was a one. You see, so, you know, it makes me think of Tom Cruise in that movie, Jerry Maguire, where he says, you complete me. In a way, that jockey sitting on that horse, 157, we're in the race, you complete me. So yeah, numbers are in everything. They're in people, of course, we do relationship stuff, but they're also in home energy. There are in your pets, your dog, your cat, they all have energy. And it really behooves you to learn more about that. My book, Linus Has Your Number, covers location. So you can make sure it's a good location for you. And then when it comes to animals, breaking down the numbers to make sure you pick a great number for your pet to make sure that pet's compatible to you. And my favorite thing in the world to do is help people name their baby. Naming that baby by the numbers brings me the greatest joy. And because I've done it long enough, I have a lot of people writing me saying, Glennis, everything you said my son would be, he turned out to be. Or everything you said about my daughter and her traits is exactly who she is today. So that's how it works. Numbers are really powerful. And that's why you've got to make a note of this month, this month of five in the world number six, because those energies challenge each other, you might feel a little challenged. If you want to share something like that, I'll definitely take a look because I'll be giving some advice. Okay. Definitely. All right. Um, so I'm looking at a variety of people. I should say hi. Hi to Terry. Terry's popping up a lot. Natalie. Keith Fletcher, who I have heard, I think Keith, I'm not sure if Keith's the one who said that. Um, some guy made a joke last time, but it may not have been Keith. So I won't, I won't guess that it was Keith, but somebody, uh, we were talking about affirmations, which, hey, do you know? Yes, I am a numerologist. I've done it my whole life, all my whole adult life. I've researched it forever. Uh, 1995 is when I went professional on radio and television. That's what, 27 years ago? Is that right? 1995? Yeah, 27 years ago. And then all the research before that. So this obviously is my calling. But the other thing right along with it is affirmations. I picked up Louise's book, Louise L. Hay, You Can Heal Your Life. If you follow me, you know that's the book I use because I brought it up honestly thousands of times throughout my career because I believe in it. And what it is, no matter what's going on with you, what we don't deal with mentally can attack us physically. You can look up your ailment and she gives an affirmation to help you. I created a CD called Affirmations to Heal Your Body. 
And the stories I get on that for people who've had cancer, who've overcome it, like they did those affirmations daily. And I want to talk about that for just a moment. For those of you, uh, anyone dealing with cancer, we're living in a society that acts like everyone's going to get it. Like if you watch commercials, depending on what program you watch, they're always acting like it's a buffet of options. Which one will you get? Hey, do everything you can to counteract that narrative in your mind. You know, do believe in the good stuff. That's why I do affirmations. You know, you cannot think a negative thought when you're focused on the positive. You can't. And that's beautiful. So that's why my affirmations are 15 minutes a day to say it out loud over and over. So you can heal your body and your mind and have the world and life that you really want. Okay. That is my reasoning. I'm uh, clicking down here and realizing I don't have the mouse with me, but I do have the power with this, this particular laptop. I can move it with my fingers, which is good, right? All right. And then affirmations. I do think we should always do at least one. How about you guys just pop it in? Do you want one for health or prosperity? Start answering that question. Do you want an affirmation from me for health right now or prosperity? Let me know and then I'll take it from there. All right. And then let me pop through here. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this. This gal just told me that her father passed away just a minute ago, I'm assuming. She said 5-5. Five, five. We have to believe that it was this 5-5. Five, five. So think about that. It was a five day. We're in the month of five. And then she says he was born 8-28-1928. He was much loved. We're having the funeral of 5-17. Okay. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. The reason I promote and sell my numerology calendar is always for you to pick the best date for anything like that. You know, like I've literally had a client, unfortunately, because the pandemic, so many people passed away, but he picked a date for his wife who had passed away. And I made a note in my mind. I thought, okay, that's the date he picked, but it happened to be completely a challenge to the wife who passed away. Like all three numbers in the date were challenge, challenge, challenge. Well, sure enough, it all fell apart. Like that date did not work. I think it was um, Arizona and all of a sudden they did kind of a lockdown because of the pandemic. But I thought it does matter you know, if you can pick a date. Now, I will say that the eight date in this instance, 517, is the eight itself is not a challenge to his life path number. Life path number is a, a two. So what would I say about your dad? He's got 912 in his numerology. Born on a one day should have made him motivated. You know, he should have been like hardworking, wanted to get things done. And then his life path energy was two. Let's see, 10, 20, 38. Yeah, he, he would have the 11 slash two. So that means a master number. But it also means if he did business, he did business with his heart. You know, he loved deeply. It's common when you have the two that when it comes to your children, you take pride in being not just their parent, but also a friend that you love deeply. And then he had a nine attitude and nine represents, again, love of family. If he had troubles when he was little, like the family did a job that he wasn't happy with, then he made a note of it and really prided himself of being the best father possible. But I will tell you this, Cinco de Mayo, five, five, that day was a challenge to him in numerology. So that was, that was not an easy day. And, and you're welcome to shoot me an email and tell me more. Glennis at numberslady.com. Tell me more what happened to him that day. Was it unexpected? Had he been sick for a while? I'd be curious about that story. And of course, he lived a long life, which is wonderful, right? He lived into his 90s. So God bless him. But yeah, that's what I do is I look at the day when someone passes and go, okay, what kind of day was that for them? And I also look at when we plan a funeral, is it a good day for the funeral for that person's energy? It all matters. And numberslady.com, you can see my, what is that called? <laughs> my banner, <laughs> my numbers lady banner, take advantage and order your calendar. They are sitting right there on the website. Okay. Let me click around here. I'm going this way. Now this time it's not going to let me move. That's always cute. And why would I say that? So let's again, make a note of what I said. This kind of day energy and this month and Mercury retrograde, you're just going to have to navigate and just take, you know, breathe. I really think breathing, we're, 
it's underestimated how important it is. Like I know we breathe, but so many of us are shallow breathers, which is not good. So just take a time out. You know, I use my Fitbit and I just breathe. I breathe in and out slowly and deeply to just alleviate stress and feel better. And that's what I want you to do. So if you are feeling overwhelmed, that's a great idea. Okay. All right. So I'm looking at, and I'm really not seeing anyone say, oh, well, one person said prosperity. Okay. Um, prosperity. What's one that I love? Ah, my financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. Write that down. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. Kimberly, that's for you, but it's actually for anyone who's struggling financially or you were raised in a family where the family was broke, like your parents really struggle with money. That means even if you have money in the bank, you're always nervous about your finances. So that's what you should be doing. Yep. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. And I'm wondering, Vanessa, are you here? My sister Vanessa helps out and usually is here to drop by and answer your questions, but I don't know if she's here right now. If you are Vanessa, just say hi, because we'd love to see you. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. And then someone else talked about help. My next time I do a live event, spontaneous like this, I will give you one on health as well. But you know what? Affirmations to heal your body is at numbersteady.com. And I promise you it works. Whatever's going on with you, it can only help heal your body. Yep. Okay. Let's pop around here. Um, well, let's take, since I did see Kevin Fletcher, I may as well see him again. He's born 621, 1983, which means he's born on a three day. He's got a nine attitude from his month and day. And then his, his life path. Is it right that you're a double three? Okay. So you're Kev Keith. <laughs> you are in a personal year of six, Grasshopper. Of course, it's a great year for you to start your company. Six gives you power. Six is one of our strongest cycles. It means, hey, I'm going to take charge of my life. I don't want to work for someone else. I want to have some financial security. And dare I say, Keith, because I don't know if you have it or not, if you don't have my prosperity, CD set, get it. So you do it daily. Do you know when it comes to that, the reason I gave you that so many years ago, when I was in my twenties and I was a waitress, I learned about, you can heal your life with Louise Hay. And I started doing a money affirmation and I started doing it daily, but I would do it right before I go on shift. I always made double the tip amount than all the other servers. Like they just get so mad. Like why the heck is she making money? in a way that I'm not. And it was my affirmation. So Keith, if you're going to start your company, you got to be proactive and you need to do that affirmation 15 minutes a day, right? My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. Do that. But otherwise it's great. You got double three, you got the nine in a cycle of six. I love it. All right. I'm popping up with some more here. Let's see what I find. Yes, it decided to move again. Hold that thought. And for those who say good evening, I see Smile Soul. I don't know the name, um, but I see Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Um, let's scoot on down to some questions here. Moving three days without a permanent home lined up. Okay, let's read this. Uh, it says... Moving three days without a permanent home lined up, yet everything goes into storage. Okay, she says she's looking at 11A Sasquatch Place or 4907. Now, I have to say, when I do these quick live events, the numbers are more complicated when it comes to home energy. Like, I break down the number, like keep the number simple and get that energy first, but then I break down those letters and all that. So I can't do that on the show today, but uh, just to keep it simple when it comes to basic numbers... 
what was your date of birth? Six, seven, eight. So you're an eight life path. And you have 111A one, one, one as a possibility or 4907. Six. Okay. Now, of those two, keeping it simple, 4907, 63, I like better because it is two energy. When I break it down, and I'm doing this quickly, right? You're not, this is not a tutorial. This is Glennis McCants, the numbers lady, answering the question. But with that, too, I like it because it gives you a chance to have love. Like, I don't know if you're married. I'm not really picking up that you are, not the way in which you just wrote that. You feel like you're just taking care of business, right? And you're just trying to get things done. But the two would invite love into the home, love, peace, harmony. If there's family involved, again, the two invites connection and just feeling bonded and not feeling alone. And if you are single, I suggest you start doing love affirmations, which again is available on the site or read my book, Love by the Numbers. That book is brilliant when it comes to finding healthy love. I mean, I've, we're now at what, over 6,000 people like that have reached out to us. So that means it's a heck of a lot more than that. But people had actually met a partner and got married, like long-term relationships and happy. That's what it's all about. So good luck. Good luck. I really hope that works out beautifully for you. Okay. I know it's a tricky month though. So I'm going to look at that too. Six, you're in a personal cycle of three, which means this month, well, you're in a personal month of eight. And since you're an eight life path, that should bode well for you. Thanks for the question. Popping around here, guys. Keep submitting. All right. Uh, yeah. So there's someone named Jean or Lean0530. She says, I already ran into that this month, choosing to keep my mouth shut for the rest of the month. You know what? Honestly, I know how hard it is. Because, you know, the five actually invite you to speak your mind, just say what you're thinking. But it's just not a good idea. So much can be misinterpreted. And as I said, with my own life experience, something that happened to me starting May 1st was like a message from the universe. And I thought, how is this possible? Like it was the opposite of what could ever happen. It was a kind gesture on my part that blew up in my face. I'm like, huh? So, you know, you got to pay attention. It's one thing to say, hey, you're my friend and I really love you. Make sure it's reciprocal. Sometimes you'll be tested and you realize it's not. And I know that's hard, but it's good to know, isn't it? Yes, you don't want to waste time with people who don't love you and don't love you in the way that you thought you loved them. Don't do that. You deserve better. We all do. Okay. Um, yeah, that will be tricky if I pop it in there. Yeah, Epsom salt. Jeannie Lee says Epsom salt. Yeah, but it's not just that. There's another sea salt is another one, right? And just Google it. Say, what's the best salt to use when trying to get the toxins off your body? And it'll pop up and answer the question. Okay. Okay. That means, Natalie, I got to tell you, just keeping it short, you said, my dad died two, two in the month of two, 2011, what does that mean? It means nothing. And I'll tell you why. One, because I don't know your birthday. Two, because I don't know the day, his birthday. And I don't know the day it happened. So my accuracy is because you give me the tools I need. When I have the tools I need, like a full date of birth and the question and the specifics, my third eye is wide open. And that is why I'm so accurate. But if you give me a little, it's not enough. Okay? Just know that whenever we do these. Okay. Mm -hmm. Popping down here. Hi, Judy. Judy Riley, who says, hi, Glennis. I really enjoy these shows and I'm glad you do. It's fun to do them. Okay. Who's this? Wow. Isn't that funny? Oh, how do we find the challenging days? I didn't see it in your book. Yes, you did, Grasshopper. They're there. Uh, what happens is under Life Path, it'll say, what's compatible to you, what, like what numbers are compatible, what numbers are natural match and what numbers are a challenge. They're in both books. So I don't answer that question right here because you really should get my books. For those of you who follow me, it's one thing that I'm offering this as a free gift from me to you, but I'd like to believe you at least have my book so that you really know what the heck I'm talking about. Right. And where do you get it? If you go to numberslady.com, you can click on the links. Like it shows Amazon, Barnes and Noble, I think Books A Million. Help yourself. Love by the Numbers is there and Glennis has your number. 
All right. But yeah, that that's important. And yeah, it's in the books, both books under the life path number. Okay. Okay. Let's just, wow. <laughs> Let's take a look at this one. Ready? Daughter's getting married 11, 12, 2022. Her birthday is six, nine. This is going to be fun. Except no, nope, you know, who's missing, don't you? The person she's marrying. So we're only looking at her numbers. When I help someone pick a perfect wedding date, you need both dates. You need the partner and the person that's getting married. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's see. Three, five, five, one. I'm looking at the date and then the actual birthday. Nine. Oh, nine, three, three. Interesting. Okay. Wow. I really do. Diana, you should give me the date of birth of the person she's marrying. Yeah, so I can see if it's good for them too. But just in numerology, I love it. This is always backwards when I play with my hair. Okay, what I would tell you is it's a good day. I mean, it's certainly a good day for her. She's born on a three day. She's got the three. So that means the actual day energy is hers. So she's going to be gorgeous. I mean, it's going to be, she should be glowing. Like it's a lovely day she picked. The attitude of the day is a five. Five energy just means if you look at it as a positive, because she's the three life path, five's compatible to her. It's a celebration. It's a party. But I would also tell her, I don't know who her bridesmaids are or who's in the wedding. If anyone is giving her grief before this, get rid of them. And I'm serious. If there's someone who's jealous or competitive towards her, that you often see that in bridesmaids or the maid of honor, they, they rear their head and you see things that you didn't expect. If that's true, just tell her, let, let them go. Or if it's someone in the family, someone who's rude, someone who's not supportive, don't invite them. That's important. And then the whole date adds up to one. Well, I always say it's nice to have it add up to one because one means on that day we became one. So whoever the partner is, they're becoming one on that day. So I like the date very much for the daughter. I have no idea what kind of date it is for the partner. Okay. Thanks for the question. All right, I'm scrolling down here. Hold on. Uh, Vanessa, there she is. Look, see, she helps you. This is what Vanessa does because Vanessa is a six. She's a nurturer. She wants to make sure you've got your information. So she wrote the affirmation out. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. Affirm it and say it loud. I mean, I've had people start doing that affirmation within a couple of days, they got a job. This is like six months worth of not getting job opportunity. All of a sudden the phone's ringing, right? They're getting texts. Yep, we want you. Oh, we came across your resume. Would you like to work for us? It's a beautiful thing. Because what we believe is the universe we get to live in. And that's why if we think really negative thoughts, we're just, you know, at our wits end we create a world that's pretty negative. And if we just flip it to positive, then good things can happen. Magical things that makes you go, oh, thank gosh, this is in my life. I'm so grateful. Okay. Um, huh. Let's try this. This gal says, I tried the hop breathing. Oh yeah. Didn't like it. I, um, I have another way. That's why so many different ways. You know what I'm going to say about that? I don't think you have to, I, there are programs out there, right? I've seen it on YouTube where there's different ways to breathe. I just keep it really simple. I just lay down on my bed and I breathe deeply in and out, like in through my nose and then out of my mouth and just deeply. And as long as I can. And when I do that after a while, I just calm down. I feel so much better. That is why I suggest it. But yeah, there's, there's some that make it a little more complicated, which is not my point. Keeping it simple is key. All right, let's see. Oh, what's this? We, it wants to show itself to us. This is Samara. Samara. Hi, Glennis. I want to release trauma. Okay, that makes me want to give this affirmation. But let's see what's going on in the numbers, too, when someone says that. Because we all handle our experiences differently. So 8, 23, 19, 70. It's a five, four, five. So the energy, four, five, three, another three. Do you, do you notice our pattern today, people? Do you notice that a bunch of three life paths are popping through? 
So release trauma. Well, first, one of the things you have to do, Samara, as hard as this is, is to literally let it go. Like, because I bet with your five, you, you, it pops up in your head all the time. Like you, you can't let it go. It makes it really hard to forget what happened to you, right? This trauma that happened. But one of the things, and if it's affecting health, this, this is what I recommend. I release all negative thoughts and all is well in my world. I release all negative thoughts and all is well in my world. I release all negative thoughts and all is well in my world. I release all negative thoughts and all is well in my world. When you start doing that, Samara, it makes a difference because those thoughts is what's haunting you. It's like playing back the trauma, right? Letting us think about it again and again, which is never a good idea. And then you have a four attitude. That four, well, yes, I say that they internalize, they go inside what I call the shell, right? You go inside the shell, you, go, you get angry. I'm sure there's times you have blown up especially with the five, three, my goodness. Like if you were at your wit's end, you let people have it. And yet it backfires on you because you end up feeling lousy later. It's like, gosh, I was triggered and I responded. So yeah, that's, you're going to have to work on that. Um, affirmations. When I talk about healing the body, I, again, I wonder if you've internalized or gotten sick. And here's another one that has been life-changing. When I watched the last couple of years, this ugliness, this negativity that has happened in our society, I created a CD set called Affirmations to Attract More Kindness. And boy, does that work. Like if you do these affirmations daily, it's 15 minutes a day out loud, it shifts energy. And not only have I had miraculous things happen to me that were so beautiful, but it's happened for thousands of my clients. Like people write me to just say, hey, I started doing it, here's what happened to me. And my grief CD, you know, I had this wonderful man recently tell me because he lost his wife and it was very unexpected and his heart was broken, but he just started doing the grief affirmations that I created and he has manifested someone new into his life. And it was very powerful. Like when I looked at the numbers, it was all very spiritual, you know, and it felt like his wife who crossed over literally gave him this person to say, because she knew he would want, not want to be alone. So the, again, I feel that this is God given because of my spirituality and my, I've been praying my whole life, but we're not, none of this is without source energy, the higher power, all of that, right? So in my case, God energy, and I'm telling you, I feel these were divinely guided because when I get the stories and the confirmation that they worked, they, the way I feel inside, I am so grateful that it makes that kind of difference whether it's grief, healing your body, finding love or making money and having a career you want. I want all of it for you. That is covered in Glenda says your number. It's covered in love by the numbers, but these CDs, if you just look, I got to get on with it. I'm sick of hurting. You know, I'm sick of my life not being what I want. That's where I help you. And it's all at numberslady.com. Okay. All right. So that's what I say. And also what cycle are you? You're in a cycle of one. This is a good thing. Samara, Cycle of one means you're, you're starting a new beginning. You know, you have a chance to start all over and it goes for nine years. So this is a brand new beginning cycle of one. So be proactive, right? Affirmations to attract kindness, affirmations to release the past. That's what you want to do so that you can finally be happy, happy. Okay. All right. I'm looking and I know what I've got up my sleeve. Hold on. Um, Let's see. Okay. Now I think we got a response back from Diane and she said, actually 3 1992. So that's the partner's birthday. Let's see. Well, if that's the case, that partner, the two is in there, which is great because two is for love. The attitude is a five. So now we could say that the attitude of that partner that day is a part of the partner. You understand that? Like the five is a part the attitude. So the attitude of the day is the partner's attitude, right? Because we have five and we've got three, which is her day. So the attitudes of five and the attitude of the partners of five, 
she is born out of three. It's a three day for the wedding and the whole thing adds up to one. So on that day, they become one. So we're going to keep it simple because the other thing I want to say is an eight life path. Eight is uh, should, your daughter must be beautiful because eights love beautiful things. They love to have a beautiful partner. So I would assume that's true. Um, that part of the relationship can be a challenge. You know, there will be times they have a breakdown in communication, but they can get through it just like we all do. Um, I think, Diana, you should get a chart done and take a look at that soulmate connection. Just type it in, you know, put in their information and let's see what all's going on. But it's a good day. It's a good day for them to get married. So I'm happy for both of them. Okay. It's a good day. And plus that person's in a cycle of um, two, which is love. Love. So getting married in love. Okay. Yeah, me too, me too. Let's see. All right, let's see what this is. Ready? I'm clicking on it. Oh, see, sometimes I click on it and it won't happen. Let's try it manually. Hold on. I'm not giving up on that. There you go. Sally, you say, should I move unhappy where I live now? Well, Sally, you didn't do what I said. I don't know where you are. I don't know the city where you are, so I could break it down and see what's wrong. But I can tell you this, the book Linda says your number has location, 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 and you can break it down and see what location is good for you, right? Because remember that saying, no matter where you go, there you are. So if you're unhappy, maybe you want to do some work within so that you're really happy for, before you go, but you don't like where you're living. So you're born on a three, eight, four, five, six, six life path. Let me tell you as a six, six is homes mean a great deal to them. So if you're not liking your home, yeah, look into moving and then cycle wise, what are you in? You're in a personal year of one, just like the other person I was talking about. Personal year one means new beginning, Sally. So if you said me flip it the other way, Hey, Glennis, is this a good time for me to move? Yes. Be proactive, Sally, get on the case and look at where you want to move. And then make sure you check that city, check that state, make sure it's compatible to you. Because if it's a challenge, trust me when I tell you, it makes your life a lot harder than you want it to be. Okay. That's my suggestion. Okay. I'm wrapping us for now, but you can also see me on my Facebook page, Glennis McCants quote, the numbers lady. I do uh, live events there as well. And I plan on doing one in the next week. So keep an eye and, and I want to bring this YouTube page to life. So if you want to make it happen with me, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also click the notification bell so you know when I'm on. And that way we can work together, right? I So many things come up in life and I'm always ready. I've got an answer. Like if there's a question out there, by the way, you can always shoot that to me too. Shoot an email, glennisatnumbersidea.com and say, hey, this would be good for your YouTube channel or this would be good for Facebook. And then give me the topic that you're wondering about there in the world and I will answer it. I'll either answer it there or maybe in the newsletter. But that's what I do every single day. I look at energy to see what's happening when a hot topic happens. And I'm going to go back for a moment. I covered this on the Daily Mail. I was asked and also my newsletter about Zelensky versus Putin. And I explained that because Putin was in a personal year five, this was the worst year for him to do any kind of attack. Like anything he thought he could do, it would not go smoothly. And we have witnessed that, haven't we? It has not gone smoothly. And then in Zelensky's case, because he's a six life path, uh, he happens to be in a personal year of five also, which means that out of control thing is true for both of them. But the difference is we saw him rise up because what do sixes do? Sixes end up, uh, they're good under pressure when things are messed up. They're kind of at their best. If you're a six life path, shoot me a note to say right now, how true is that for you? Damage control is your specialty. And that is why Zelensky literally has been shining in this horrible moment for them because he's willing, he's up for the fight. That's very common for the six. And Putin's case is double seven, which is that man who can be a loner. He can be a little isolated. That means he doesn't necessarily listen when people give advice. And I think that has been hurtful for at this time. Of course, I'm rooting for us to just get back some, some peace here because I don't, I never ever believe that 
killing people is the answer. It will never be the answer. And finding ways to talk and negotiate is always the way to go. All right. But like I said, all hot topics out there, send your suggestions and I promise to cover at least a couple of them. All right. Thanks a lot. Glennis McCants, the numbers lady, and I'm wrapping this for now. Numberslady.com. Head on over and visit us.